This is an analysis of a Barney Isaacs Jr. version of Blue Hawaii. And there are a few tricks that he gets up to in it that I can explain as they occur and mention the first two before we start to play it. He, he uses the open C chord a couple of times and rather a nice little trick. But first of all, the first part puts alternate notes in, but they're okay. Instead of... He uses... And how he does that is quite interesting. He's pl it's in the key of C and he plays... And then strings one and two open. And then slides back up to... And to prevent the open strings ringing as he's sliding back, he damps them with his second finger. So it's... It's not... It's... It's definitely not that. It's... Second finger dampening the first string and the steel pulled back. So, slowly... The other thing he does, he does a couple of rather nice changes from a C chord to an A7th, sometimes passing using two notes like and sometimes passing just using a single harmony note like that's the A7th that's there. That one. Second string stopped at the first fret, everything else open. Well, everything else that's in use. So he goes. Just for the moment, that's sufficient explanation. What I'll do is I'll play the first verse along with him and you can see the positions in use. Okay, so the first verse. play that through without the backing time slowly. It starts off a glissando into the first and notice it's picked twice. It's not. It's a bad habit to slide into notes that are strong syllables and not actually pick them. It takes the weight away from notes that should have weight.
that section one more time with me playing along with him I'll turn down so you can see the positions but hear him which is probably better that is important he plays part of an F chord uh, in the position where A flat is and then immediately plays an A flat so he goes and then pull in the steel back to get the C top note on the glissando so it's <laughs> 